Okay, in this video I am going to be fixing the brake squeal from my vehicle. I'd like to highlight that this is not a brake servicing. I am simply testing out a Permatex orange silicone brake lube product to see if it works to solve my squealing issues. So obviously there's uh, an annoying squeal highlighted when you are slowing down to a stoplight or doing a, a drive through run. So the first thing I'm going to do is loosen all of the wheel lug nuts prior to jacking it up. Now the pathfinders have arrows where your jack points are so you can see there's also a small reinforcement right underneath where that arrow goes. So it's pretty obvious where the jack goes. You can see I've got the other side jacked up already on an axle stand and it's got sort of a wood blocking there for safety. So once I got the, the wheel in the air with the jack, I'm going to move the axle stand underneath, raise up the axle stand, and then I'm going to take a little bit of pressure off the jack, but I do keep the jack in place with uh, some of the weight of the vehicle on it. Once that's done, I'm going to loosen all those lug nuts the rest of the way off, get them out of the way, and remove the wheel from the vehicle. The first thing I'm going to remove is the lower caliper mounting bolt. That is a 14 millimeter bolt. I found that once you broke it free, it was easy to remove by hand. For this model, once that lower mounting bolt is off, pivot the caliper up and out of the way. Now there's supposed to be two springs but on this vehicle for whatever reason there's only one so in the future I might get a second spring but I will remove that spring prior to removing the brake pads. I'm going to take off the outer brake pad first and it just slides out. I don't really recommend using a pry bar or a, a screwdriver to pry them out. I think that most people would probably damage their disc brakes if they didn't know what they were doing. And you can remove them by hand. So there's the inner brake pad. Now the first thing I'm going to do is ensure that all the brake dust, grime, and any oils are off the brake pads by spraying them down with some brake parts cleaner. It's important that you don't use something like carburetor cleaner or anything with oils in it. That would be the wrong product to use and there are different types of brake parts cleaner both chlorinated and non-chlorinated and this is the sort of weaker non-chlorinated brake parts cleaner and each time I set the brake pads down I'm just putting them on a clean dry towel and this is the brake parts lube I picked up and it's called a Permatex orange silicone ceramic brake parts lube so it's a lubricant and an anti squeal compound so I'm going to apply a small amount to the back of the pad and rub it in so that it is spread equally across the pad. I'm going to take the brake pad shim and put it back on and then I'm going to put a little bit of the anti-squeal on the back of this as well. And it's important to remember you're not icing a kid's birthday cake. You're just putting a small amount of the anti-squeal or lubricant on it. And because it is an, a lubricant I'm also going to put a little bit on the ends of the brake pads where they contact the brake pad retainers. And although I don't show it, I do take a paper towel and a little bit of brake parts cleaner and clean off the brake pad retainers on the calipers as well. Now before I put them on, I'm going to put a new pair of gloves on because I do not want to get the lubricant either on the brake pad braking surface or on the rotors. Now there's only one way to put these on if this was the inner pad. It just goes onto the retainers and slides in. And now I'm going to take the outer pad, once again, hose it down with some brake parts cleaner. Again, you definitely want to wear gloves when you're doing this. And you should have some sort of catch basin underneath it to catch any of the spray off as you're spraying these things down. And once again, I'll set it down on a brand new piece of shop towel. Give everything a good wipe down and get the brake parts cleaner off them. And once again, apply some of this Permatex Orange Silicone Brake Lube and Anti-Squeal. Replace the shim. 
and put some of the anti-squeal compound on the shim as well. And just like before, uh, just because I got them off, I'm just going to throw a little bit of lubricant on the ends of the brake pads, just on the portion that uh, contacts the brake caliper. Now the outer brake pad is ready to go on the vehicle. And again, it just lines up into the brake pad retaining clips and slides into place. Now because these aren't new brake pads, I don't really have to compress the brake calipers at all, but I do put some of this Permatex lubricant on the brake pistons. Now the brake caliper should swing down into place without getting stuck on the brake pads, but because you have the spring in place, you will likely have to uh, push the brake pads in. I'm using Loctite on the mounting bolt. Um, it didn't have it on it before. Uh, it may not be necessary, but I did it anyway. The torque spec I have for the lower caliper mounting bolts for both the front and rear brake calipers is 20 foot pounds, so that's what I went with. Once the brake caliper is put back together, I reinstall the wheel. Initially, getting the lug nuts on uh, by hand. And I tighten the lug nuts up just enough so that they're snug, but not so much that they start turning the wheel. Raise the vehicle up slightly with the jack and remove the jack stand and then lower the wheel so that I can tighten up the lug nuts the rest of the way. Now for a torque spec on these, I got 98 foot pounds. Uh, I'm not really using a torque wrench, so I'm just getting them tight and my best estimate of 98 foot pounds. And I'm using a crisscross pattern to make sure that uh, all bolts are, are tightened equally. So I'm happy to note that uh, initially my first 200 kilometers with these brake pads lubricated. There is uh, no squeal noted on gentle stopping or on hard stopping so my initial impression is that it's Permatex orange silicone uh, lubricant actually did what it was advertised to do. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.